Hey, praise the Lord. This is a short video, hopefully, I'm going to make regarding a question that I was addressed with today from a sister out there, a disciple of Jesus Christ. And her question is, where can she find someone to baptize her? She says, I want to, let me just set the stage real quick. Uh, this young woman had written to me a while back and asked me about the way that she was baptized in, in the church that she used to attend. And I told her, from the scripture, according to the scripture, that the way that she was, I'm petting my cat, the way that she was, here, come on, buddy. This is Boots. He's my guard cat. Anyway, <laughs> um, I had answered her question, and I had let her know that the way that she was baptized was not according to the scripture, and that she needs to be baptized again properly according to the scripture. And before any of you take that as advice to yourself, please search the scriptures on that and uh, you can write to me and ask me because not every one of you needs to be baptized again. There are specific circumstances. If you were not baptized correctly, according to the gospel of Christ, then you do need to be baptized again. If you were baptized correctly according to the gospel of Christ and you've just you know, fallen into sin or whatever, um, then you don't need to be baptized again. You just need to repent and confess your sins to the Lord and, and go on. But anyway, this particular sister wrote to me and asked me about these things, and I told her that. She's, she wrote back and she says, I want to write to you and let you know that I'm having a hard time to find someone who doesn't believe the Trinity to baptize me. I had a few questions. First of all, do you have any advice on where to seek a man of God to baptize me? Well, if you are not in a place where I can come to you and baptize you, then you're... Um, you're, you've got to be in a place where there are some churches around that can baptize you. Now, I don't at all recommend becoming a member of any uh, denomination, but there are a couple of denominations out there who, although they depart from the scripture in other ways, yet they do teach the scripture in, in regards to baptism, and they, they will baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, as the scripture says. One of those is the Pentecostal denomination, the United Pentecostal Church, Ouch, those claws are sharp, Bubba. <laughs> um, the United Pentecostal Church um, generally teaches that God is one, that he is not a trinity, and that uh, we are to repent and be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of our sins, as the scripture says. But at the same time, every UPC church is not the same, so you have to call and talk to the pastor and ask them. Um, the same thing goes for the apostolic churches. There are most apostolic churches out there will teach and obey the gospel that the apostles preached as it is written in the scripture. But not all of them, because not every apostolic church teaches the same thing. And there are also many different denominations that use the term apostolic in the title of their church as well. Um, Catholic and Lutheran churches use the title apostolic. Methodist churches use the title apostolic. And then there's, of course, the apostolic churches, which is a denomination in itself, which branched off from the UPC several decades ago. So. I would check, in whatever city you are, I would check the Pentecostal and Apostolic churches, just do a search for them, make a few phone calls, talk to the pastor, and basically just ask the pastor these necessary things. Number one, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Almighty God who has come in the flesh, or do you believe that he is a third of a trinity? That's a very important question to ask, and if they cannot give you a clear, definitive answer on that, and that they believe that Jesus Christ is the Almighty God who has come in the flesh, and that he is not part of a trinity, then the pastor of that church is not a Christian and he may not properly baptize you according to the scripture. Number two, ask the pastor, do you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ or simply by repeating the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Okay, We are commanded to be baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. And so the only correct way to baptize someone in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is to put them in the water and say, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. That's what the scripture teaches, and there's no contradictions there. And that's what we are to do. So that's the second thing you want to ask the pastor. Do you baptize in Jesus' name? Or do you baptize by repeating the titles Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Another thing that you want to ask the pastor, the third thing and, and final thing, is why do you baptize? Do you baptize for the remission of sins, as the scripture says? Or do you baptize as an outward showing of an inward change or something that you do after your salvation, like the traditional uh, denominations teach? These three questions will give you an understanding of whether or not the pastor of this church is able to baptize you according to the gospel of Christ. 
And if you will answer these questions according to the scripture, then he can verily baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins, according to the gospel. Once again, I don't recommend becoming part of their denomination, and of course they will try to pressure you into that, and they'll they'll say, well, just fill this card out and give us your name and address, and then you'll be on our list, and you'll be on our roll, and all that stuff, and you can just politely tell them, you know, I'm not sure that I want to become a part of an organization right now. I just really love the Word of God, and I want to be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of my sins, and then whether or not I will come back and visit with you or sit under your ministry is something that God will show me, and I'll make that decision as I as I grow in the Lord. And if they're a man of God, if they're men of God, then they should respect that. Praise the Lord. And so that's the answer to that question, and, and it's not only for you, dear one who wrote to me, but it's also for all those out there who might be wondering the same thing. And um, I'm going to cut this video short so I don't make it too long, and I hope this was a blessing to you. In Jesus' name.